going on guys? JD from New York here and this is just going to be a regular commentary. Gameplay has nothing to do with it. It's strictly there. Somebody's texting me. It's strictly there for your entertainment. Okay? So enjoy that. But what this video is about is what I'm going to be talking about. And that's friends. Or how do you know the people you know, how do you know if they're friends or not? Or what's the definition of a true friend? Alright? It all started. It all kind of came to a head for me. With these two fucking clowns that I know. And I wouldn't be saying this about them last year this time. Last year, I would consider them friends. People that I would genuinely like to be around and care about. This year, a year later, they're fucking degenerate clowns. Just like El Perez says. But the definition of a true friend, I know. I know for a fact who my true friends are. Pete, if you're listening, I love you, buddy. Sean, I know you're listening, buddy. Kenny, my girlfriend. My brother, who's my family, obviously, but he's also one of my best friends. Right? Those guys, Jim, Will, I don't know if they're listening. Those are the guys. Mike, you too, buddy. I don't know if you're listening. These guys, these, these names are the people that I would trust with anything. Those are the people that would be there for me if I was laying sick in the hospital, dying. They would be by my side. Those are the people that would be there for me. Those are friends. My buddy Kenny comes out of nowhere. He works th literally three blocks away from me. And I should see him more than I do, but I'm not there full time. I'm there once a week, maybe. You know? He comes out of nowhere and says, JD, your YouTube channel is some of the best shit I've ever seen for a small YouTube. And he's complimenting me on my YouTube channel. My buddy Pete, watching my videos, laughing at my videos, supporting my channel. Obviously, my girlfriend supports my channel. My brother supports my channel. My buddies Jim and Will, every time I see them, they ask me how my channel's doing because they know it's important to me, This what I'm driving to do. These two guys, this couple, they don't give a fuck. Not once did they ask me, how's your channel doing? Good shit, blah, blah, blah. Have no interest in what I'm doing. They didn't even wish me a happy birthday. When last year, they were over here sitting on my couch that I'm staring at right now. Sitting on my couch, got me a gift for my birthday last year. We sat down and watched Monday Night Raw. They got me a cake. My girlfriend got a cake for me. We all shared the, the, the cake together. They, they celebrated my day of birth. This year, not one peep, not one birthday wish from either one of them on my birthday. Those are friends? They're not my friends. It all started at the Royal Rumble, WWE Royal Rumble. We went to a bar literally two blocks away from living. I'm working on a Sunday night. My girlfriend's literally doing 95 miles an hour on the FDR in New York City. Speeding towards the Bronx because apparently if you weren't there early, you weren't getting a seat. Because all these fucking low-life clowns who are not wrestling fans come out of the woodwork because Dwayne Johnson is wrestling. After a year, he's wrestling for the WWE Championship. They all want to see Dwayne Johnson win the WWE title. It's the only reason why they came out. Otherwise, that bar would be empty for that event. But these two clowns that this video is directed towards, they got to the bar at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. The event don't start till 8 p.m. I work on a Sunday, having my girlfriend speed down Manhattan highways towards the Bronx, so we get there at 7 o'clock, thinking we would have two seats. Right? We walk in, I see a booth to my right, and I see chairs empty in front of me as we walk in. Some guy wearing an Alex Rodriguez jersey. I tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, hey, buddy, there's three seats here. Can me and my girlfriend have two seats? Oh, sorry, I'm saving these seats for my party who's on their way to the bar. Okay. My girlfriend goes ask the table next to us, the booth. Can we have two chairs? These chairs seem to be empty. Oh, we're waiting for our party to get here. Okay. 
So apparently, you can't save seats, right? That's what I was told by these two fucking clowns. Oh, you can't save seats. Meanwhile, the two fucking people that we asked, they were saving seats for their parties who were not in the bar already. They were on their way there. Meanwhile, we were there. That means we could have those seats, correct? No, those seats were being saved. But when we asked you two fucking clowns, oh, we can't save seats. First come, first serve. Really? Okay. So then you decide to walk up to me, shake my hand, and I graciously shake your hand, respectfully. Yet, two hours later, you call me miserable, you want nothing to do with me, you don't want to be around me. Why am I miserable? Because what you said was fucking bullshit. You could have saved us seats, though you opted not to. Meanwhile, the two people we asked were saving seats. They broke the rules. Meanwhile, you could have went and been friends towards us, but you didn't. You didn't want to be friends. You didn't want to help out. You wanted to be two fucking assholes. That's what you wanted to do. That's what started it all. Then you backtrack to when you had your blackjack party. Oh, you invite us to the party. We don't want to come to your party because you stupidly invited two fucking assholes you know we don't like. One is some fucking slut who fucking slept with everybody in the neighborhood who looks like fucking Gollum from Lord of the Rings and her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend now, Karma's a bitch, you fucking slut, ex-boyfriend now looks like a degenerate fucking scumbag homeless motherfucker who works as a locksmith. Some career goal you got, you fucking prick. You invite them to the party. Meanwhile, I bring Call of Duty over to play so I could be out of everyone's hair because I know if they look at me the wrong way, something is going to be said. So I brought over Call of Duty and I played for the two, three hours I was there. Meanwhile, I had work the next day. That's why I didn't drink. If I didn't have work, I would have been drunk like the rest of the fucking idiots there. But no, you want to go ahead and say, oh, you weren't, you weren't being social. How am I going to be social to 90% of a room who's fucking slumping over themselves, piss drunk? How am I supposed to be social then? Nobody complained about me playing. They were all enjoying the fucking game. Nah, but I'm miserable. And that was a strike against me because I came into your home and I played Call of Duty. Well, let me fucking tell you something. Call of Duty was more exciting than your fucking party. Call of Duty is more exciting than all the fun you guys seem to have. I'd rather sit home and play Call of Duty than be around you two fucking fools. And lastly, I'm miserable, right? Let's backtrack last year to when we went to Atlantic City. What happened? I'm driving down the New Jersey Turnpike on the Garden State Parkway. Oh, I got there first. Okay. We got a hotel at the Tropicana. Meanwhile, you guys got to do your own thing. We can't get the same room, right? We can't get two beds and share two couples to one room. No, you got to go book a hotel at the Sheraton and be all fancy pantsy, right? That's, that's mistake number one in my eyes. Number two, I'm down there to visit my best friend or one of my best friends, Sean. Okay? Whom I don't see all the time. We wanted to drink. We wanted to have a good time. The only time me and my girlfriend and my buddy seeing you was in Carmine's because me and my buddy were drunk. We were having a good time. We noticed you're sitting in Carmine's and boom, we sit down because we knew you weren't going to finish all the food on your dish. If you guys have been to Carmine's, the fucking plates that they serve feed a fucking family at 10. So we were picking at the food and boom, our night was over. But that's not the end of it. What did you guys do for the entire fucking time you were down there in Atlantic City? I'll tell you what you did. You, ga you fucking gambled your money away. You lost $5,000. And then you were miserable the, for the entire fucking time you were down there. Not one word was said. We barely fucking seen you. You didn't say anything at dinner the last night we were there. But I'm miserable. And then you're fucking saying, oh, I'm never coming back to Atlantic City again. It's nothing but bad luck. Fuck this shit. All you, all you fucking tearing and crying. Oh, I lost $5,000. Who told you to spend $5,000 at the blackjack table? If I, if I was there, I would have told you, listen, you're a fucking idiot. 
Why are you gambling your money? Why are you throwing your money away? Your hard-earned money to these fucking people. When I moved down to Atlantic City, I lived in Atlantic City for close to seven years. You know what my grandfather told me? Jerry, don't throw your money in those fucking machines. It's corrupted. You know how many times I gambled when I was in Atlantic City? In seven years? Once. For my buddy Sean's birthday, because we went to Harris and played poker. $50, sat down at the poker table. $50 entry tournament. That's all we did. But I'm miserable, right? You guys can go mad, get married. You changed ever since you got engaged. You're fucking completely different people. You're not the people that I thought you were. You were the ones who changed. You showed your true colors. I've been true. My subscribers know who I am already better than you fucking ever did. They know I'm truthful. They know the JD that's speaking right now. This is JD. You piss me off, you have something bad to say about me, say it to my fucking face. You got my phone number, text me, call me, tell me what's wrong. No. You want to fucking post on Facebook, I don't want to be in misery's company. You're the fucking ones who are miserable. You're the ones who are miserable and live a miserable fucking life. You always got to do something. You can't stay home and relax. You can't call me and my girlfriend to come over and watch a fucking movie. Right? Always got to be going out, spending money. You're the ones getting married, having a big fucking wedding because your fucking family's paying for it. My family can't pay for my wedding. I want to get married. You know who's going to pay for my wedding? Me! I'm paying for the fucking wedding. My girlfriend's paying for the fucking wedding. Some people aren't so fucking fortunate. All because we're not in the same fucking category as you relationship-wise. Oh, you got engaged. Big fucking deal. Will I be at your wedding? No. Why? Because I don't fucking give a shit. That's why. I'm a guy with common sense. It makes sense to me not to get married nowadays. Not to have a kid right now. Because the economy is bullshit. I'm barely working 30 hours a week. Who's paying for the fucking wedding? You fucking jackass motherfucking clowns. That's the commentary. Friends. Who are your real friends? The guys I mentioned to you? Who are the guys who I go out drinking with? The guys who have my back? My buddy Pete? Those are friends. Kenny, Sean, Will, Jim, my girlfriend, my brother, Mike. My little brother Michael. Those are fucking friends. Those are the people that are going to be there for you. These guys, they don't give a shit about anything but themselves. Not even to wish me a happy birthday. After last year, you sat in my house celebrating my birthday with me. This year, I don't even get a fucking look. You didn't even look towards my way. So what happened? Deleted. Facebook deleted. Twitter deleted. Phone numbers deleted. And I'm sorry if I was a little bit aggressive in this commentary, guys. But I better say it, or it's best for me to say it on my channel, where you guys can see and hear the frustration in my voice, rather than me fucking posting on Facebook or Twitter. This is what YouTube's for. This is my channel, an outlet to get this frustration out. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you agree with me, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. This is JD. I never changed. I'm miserable. You better look yourself in the fucking mirror. You're the ones who are miserable. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon.